Y'all wow. Yo, yo, when I heard about Mocha Fest, I said, what the fuck is this? But I'm supposed to ignore that, right? Y'all out here passing out diseases, giving two for one specials. You get chlamydia and herpes at the same time. And then y'all gonna come to me and talk about, well, Anton, everybody got herpes. No, we don't. No, we don't. Everybody ain't got it. I honest to God. Every I'm 41 years old. I have zero, nothing, nada, zilch, not a disease. In sight, not nothing, not no one. You know why? Because I'm not in sin. I don't participate in the same shit that you participate in. I ain't worried about nobody coming in and saying, hey, don't did me wrong. Let me go and touch a K. Because I ain't worried about that shit. I'm I'm without spot, wrinkle, blemish, set aside. I ain't worried about this shit because when you operate in your purpose, you can speak confidently. You can't talk like me. It's nobody on the internet right now that's talking like me. You know why? Because they can't. They worry. They hoping. They praying that somebody don't go back and get something from them. I don't give a fuck about what you look at. I'm Anton from AntonMotherfuckingDaniels.com. And when you can talk like this, that's because you operating like this. And so when I talk, I talk fervently. I speak with conviction. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. And you don't even know what a man look like no more. You looking for a motherfucking partner. And when you ask these women, hey, what are you looking for in a marriage? Oh, I'm looking for a partner to uh, meet me at where I am or be greater than me. Where does that say that in the Bible? Because first of all, to say a man that findeth a wife, he who findeth the wife findeth a good thing. You're not even supposed to be searching. You not even you don't even understand what it means to be a wife. You think it's cooking and cleaning and I can go and hit a button on the washing machine. I can do that shit too. I don't need you. Get the fuck up out of my face. I don't need no, I don't need you. He never said that we were supposed to have partners. He said that you was go gonna get a help me. Let me give you a help me. Because there's some stuff that I need you to accomplish, Anton from AntonDaniels.com. There's some things that I want you to do in this lifetime, and I need you to accelerate the process, and I'm gonna give you a help me. Here you go. Here you go. You ain't never, ever, ever in life heard my chick sit here and talk about, oh my God, I'm so hurt. Brothers winning. Father won. Uncles winning. You don't like that shit though, do you? You want you a feminine man. You want you a man that can understand your needs. You want you a man that's going to be uh, your girlfriend too. You want a pillow talk with him. You want a man that's going to be up under you all day. That's not a man. That's a simp. And trust me, you don't want him. You don't want that. Let me tell you what you don't want. You don't want a simp. You don't want that baby. Honestly, honest to God, you don't want that, fam. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's not for you. You don't want that. You don't want your daughter to have that. You want your daughter to have you a feminine man? Huh? A feminine man? We got all of these podcasts out here and everybody talking, but ain't nobody actually got no real solutions. They can't guide you. They can't show you what an example of greatness looks like. They don't show you their bank accounts. They all under duress. They all in debt. They all fucked up. And let me also say something else before we get to the next subject. Y'all poor. Stop trying to sell me about how successful black women are. You poor. You poor, poor. You broke, broke. All the way. Down in the dumps. Tough. Tough. The guy that I was coaching today, when I was asking him, I said, what do you like about her? And this and that. I said, okay, cool. Would you marry her? Ah, this is what he said to me. Honest to God, on everything. Ah, you know, she got some things that she got to work on. I say, okay, because you got to remember, this guy that I was coaching, I've been coaching for a long time, right? And he's doing incredibly well. I mean, I'm not saying six figures as no Instagram and YouTube talking point. I'm talking about well into the six figures, like the 450 range, right? Generating a lot of revenue. He's done really well. When I got to him, he was already making $120,000 a year. Now he closing in on 450. He wanted to do 550 this year. 
And we working on that. And I'm working on him. And I'm pushing him. I'm making him great. I'm saying, hey, you need to cut this out. Invest in here. And then make sure that you're reading your Bible. And also on top of your Bible, make sure you're reading this book. You want to read Money Master the Game. Because this is what I'm tailoring for you based off of where you're at right now. But you need to make sure you're working on your character along with it. So study this. right? I want you to read what, what uh, um, Paul was writing over to the Galatians. Because I know you studied this, but I need you to understand where it manifested itself over here, right? And then I want you to understand the difference between the most. So we digging into our Bibles and we working on stuff and we working on finances and character. And I'm making sure that he knows how to communicate effectively so that he can network effectively and then get into certain circles. And then I'm introducing him over here. And then now we starting to get to the space because he's fully where he need to be. And he just, he growing. He grown. I mean, the dude is not even 40 yet and he fucking winning. And I love to see my guys win and I love to celebrate them. And I would want nothing more than him to be with you. But then he tells me what she is like. And I say, OK, so what's going on with her? What she want to do? Oh, man. I mean, I mean, she got she working. What do you mean she working? How is she allocating her finances? I mean, she not paying on her student loans right now. Where is her, how much is her student loans? About a hundred thousand. But she got her degree. But she not paying on her student loans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew I knew you was gonna say that, Tyne. I knew you was gonna say that. And he heartbroken on everything. Listen, you are not hearing me. He's heartbroken. And the reason that he's heartbroken is because he knows that I have to tell him the truth. And the truth is, you can't marry her. If you're asking for my blessing as your mentor, if you're asking for my advice, I'm going to tell you no. Well, you know, she got dreams. Well, what does she want to be? She want to be an entertainer. I just get quiet. I just sit there. I let them sit with their thoughts for a minute. I know what you're thinking, Ty. Then you don't need me to say it, do you? You know this is not right for you. But guess what? He's heartbroken. Everything in him is telling himself to go against my advice and do the thing that's worse for him. And it's not that he's a bad person. It's not that he's a simp. It's not that he don't love her. It's that he's not equally yoked. They are not going in the same direction. This will be the worst decision that he ever made in his entire life. The, listen, the most important decision that you ever going to make in your entire life is the person that you lay next to. And the, the reason why a lot of these women are so mad at me is because I will not let my guys. I will not allow it. I forbid it. I rebuke it. In Jesus name, where two or three are gathered in the midst of them. I rebuke him from marrying a person that is not equally yoked and going in the direction that he going in. Because it is going to ruin his life. 